Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to let's let's enjoy Dark Souls three. And I've we're back at Crucifixion Woods because we're done with Cathedral of the Deep. And I went off on camera, just went up to the tower and dealt with that stuff off of the tower. Got patches, did get rid of the samurai dude, and that wasn't recorded. It was off camera. It wasn't meant to be off camera, but it was off camera because I was trying to see if I could make this be a live stream thing and OBS decided for some reason not to record live stream video. Thanks, OBS. I never had that problem before. But then again, this wasn't really set up for live in the first place, so I don't know. I think there were some issues early on with the stream. It screwed everything up. The point is, sorry about that. Bit of a lost episode, but thankfully not a whole lot was lost. Just that... The Samurai Dude, Yellowfinger Hazel, and a couple other things. Very minor things. I'm not... Honestly, not too put out about it. I'm really kind of glad I found it was happening before anything really bad happened. Gave me a chance to warm up. Made me lose all faith in being able to do any of this stuff live, but that was an experiment. Which no one really saw anyway, so whatever. Back to the game proper, though. We were trying to deal with this Black Knight. Ow! Last thing I was trying to do was deal with this Black Knight, who is... Still being remarkably difficult. Oh, come on. Must you have delayed attacks? It's one thing I still don't really like about the way this game is designed. So many delayed attacks and other things like that where it's like, just seriously, must you? Like, I get, okay, fine, maybe it makes rolling a bit, ow, a bit less of a dominant strategy defensively, but it also means parrying becomes darn near useless unless you're memorize the everything about everything. Okay. There they are. Uh, what do I do? You shouldn't be this hard. Uh, and everything feels delayed. I don't know. This this fight is just not working out at all. Uh, I got a parry earlier. There we go. That's that's what I want to see. I had gotten a parry earlier that worked. Some attacks for sure are parry attacks or parry bull attacks. Ah, oh, there we go. I also got the Farron Coal and all the Cell Sword stuff. So that's a thing I did. And another Rest of Shard, another Bone Shard. A, a bunch of small things. Like I said, minor things. No real exploration was done. So, thankfully not much was missed. Sadly, some stuff was missed. Anyway, moving on. The, the real prize is Farron Keep. Which actually, now I'm kind of scared because I have 7,700 souls. And no Estus. Okay, maybe... Maybe this is... Not the approach I want to take. Maybe... Maybe just, you know, the Homeward Bones. We'll just do that. We'll, we'll Homeward Bone our way through this. It's... It's really for the best. I want to go to the last Rested Bonfire. Right, so with Crucifixion Woods, we end up getting to... the... the Farron Keep area. Although, actually, there's one small section I want to go through first. I mentioned this before, and I mentioned I'd skip it before, and not skip it now. Because I can't remember what's in here, to be honest. There's a lycanthrope that's... And there it is. Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Ah! Yeah! Yeah! And now you're dead. These things are really easy if I get the drop on them. Which I generally have been. Sage Ring, that's really good for casting spells. Sorcerer stuff, that's... Sorcerer stuff. What does the Sage Ring do again? Shorten spell casting time, that's actually kind of handy. Not handy enough for me to want to use it in place of anything else I currently have equipped, but it's still handy. Also, I got the Estus Ring and Covetous Silver Serpent Ring. Those I got. In fact, I may replace one of these with the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring, but I don't know what. Actually, I'm really reluctant to place any, replace any of these with Covetous Silver Serpent. Uh, uh. Stamina recovery speed is pretty important. Uh, uh. I mean, stamina recovery speed is important, but souls are important, but stamina recovery speed keeps me alive, but souls keep me alive later on. Uh, let's see what happens. Maybe this will work. So, how much time does it take to recover stamina anyway? Like, if I'm doing stuff with stamina, eh, that's not too bad. I can deal with that. And then, like, yeah, I'm using daggers. This is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Except crabs. Crabs aren't fine. But I can go through here and avoid crabs. And then go up here. And then go around this way. 
because there's stuff to get if I go this way. Also, it's easier. But there's things I did not get the first time through. And if I go this way, I get them. Like this. Golden Falcon Shield. Okay, actually, that's not really relevant. <laughs> Golden Falcon Shield. A shield for a shieldless build. And another thing for... Large Soul. Okay, actually, that is useful. In fact, that's... That is... Maybe I should go back to Firelink Trine and level up levels of useful. Okay, so at this point... If I position myself just right, I think I can fire upon one of them and not wake up the other. And just headshot them. Or not. Doesn't really matter. I can do it either way. I can do this any way you want to here. Oh, or you can do that. Bam! Ah! Gotta be careful. Not sure where their attacks are here. Ow! Faster than I expected, that's for sure. All right. Well, that's fine. I can deal with that. I want to pull you back, though, because I don't want to have you in front of your friend, because your friend's going to come help you if they're too close. Ah, shoot. Ah, seriously? That's bad. Okay, there we go. Got What the? Why did I hit you again? Ah, come on. Okay, seriously? Seriously? Let me go. Quit comboing me. Come on. Okay, you slam down, and then I might be able to get a backstab on you. I don't even remember what this guy does, honestly. I just, I'm getting hit by them hard, and it's not working out very well for me. Alright. Alright, let's try this bit more intelligent. Ow! Not intelligent. Ha! 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 Now I've got you! Ha ha! How do you like combos now, huh? Now that you're on the other end of them. All right, well, that's one down. And number two's back there. I can't remember what they do. I think they have the sword. Yes, they do. They have a giant sword. It's going to make life... Oh, giant curved sword. It's kind of nice. Those things are cool. Curved greatsword, I think. Yeah! Ha! 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 Again! You haven't even called on me yet, but your friend did. So it's revenge by proxy. Which is more just being a jerk, I guess. I, mean, I guess it's group revenge. That's a thing that happens. You no, know, people, people take revenge because of group issues. It's a big part of human culture and psychology is taking revenge on someone because they hurt someone or because they're like someone that tried to hurt you or something like that. Whatever. The point is, I killed both. I didn't die. I got some HP back. And I got an XL Greatsword. And we're on track for the Baron Keep. There's also some stuff back here, though, which I will get first. Homer Bone. Always a sign that you should turn back. Pretty sure that's actually how it's meant to be used. Like, generally speaking, you get a couple Homer Bones whenever you get to a new area. Because it's like, hey, turn back now? And it's like, no, there's a bonfire right down here. Why would I turn back? Granted, first time through, you wouldn't know there's a bonfire there, so it's a good temptation to just get out of there. And then you have to go through all this stuff again. And the answer is no. Could not be a hidden path. So yeah, now, now is the point where stuff can be done in town. Or Firelink, as the case may be. So I'm wondering, knowing what's in this place, that there is a covenant specifically designed to punish people for being embered up here, what happens if I'm embered up? Are there people around here? Are they going to punish me? All these answers, all these questions and more will be answered when I realize I should have gotten some... some ways of actually getting rid of poison. I hadn't thought of that. That was... That was an oversight. Hey, Ragged Mask. I don't think I'm going to use that, but I will check out and see how it looks in this character. I mean, I like the face, but how does this look if I do it? Yeah. Eh. It doesn't look that great. I'll go without it. It's not a big deal. There are other he pieces of headgear. Should I ever choose to put on a piece of headgear? Because... It's a thing I don't really do very often, is put on headgear. Are you guys going to drop Titanite Shards? Do you guys drop Titanite Shards? I seem to recall they drop Titanite Shards. I could always crack a rusted coin, make it more likely that they'll drop Titanite Shards. This area is full of Titanite Shards, by the way. And Purple Moss Clump. Good. Good, 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 good. That should be on my quick bar. Because I need it. Because otherwise I will... 
Well, I'm gonna need it eventually. Like, I'm not super worried at first because the thing about this whole setup is that... Ah, come on. The thing about the Farron Keep is that once you're poisoned, you're just poisoned. That's that's it. Like, you're poisoned, you gradually lose HP, you can't get super poisoned. Like, you, there's only so poisoned you can get. I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. This isn't the way I wanted to go. I wanted to go somewhere to the right because there's a tower over there. And there's a basilisk over here, and I don't like you at all. Because you are a pain, and you curse me, and then I die. Which we haven't actually seen yet in this series. I have not yet been cursed. I risked it during the Deacons of the Deep fight, but I never really came close. There's only one attack they have that even starts to be a threat in that regard, and it never caused problems. Where the heck is that tower? Okay, so there's the High Wall of Lothric. Which means that the area I'm looking for... Oh, it's over there. Okay. Because the idea is there's an area there near the High Wall of Lothric. Which we saw from the side of the Ended Settlement, actually. And I want to get up there. There's some really cool, cool stuff there. Like, just a lot of really good things of various... Ow! Various types. There's some ashes that are cool to have. There's some other things that are also good. The ashes give you Titanite Shard purchasing capabilities, which is the real prize. And there's a demon that just gets you stuff, which reminds me I need to check out the Deacon Soul. I don't think it has anything I care about, but I actually don't know offhand. I would be remiss to not look. Okay. These slugs at least aren't that big of a deal, and I can heal up pretty quickly from fighting them. This is what I mean. The poison isn't a massive threat, all things considered. Also, that's just me, or that's a lot of Estus shards. Like, just considering the way the game starts out and how few Estus flasks you or Estus flask shards you have, and how long it takes to get Estus shards, it's like I've gotten like five Estus shards in the last two or three areas. Partly, one of them was in a hidden area on Firelink Shrine, and another one was in some. Well, I swear I'm midway through the game, and this you can get 15, but still, it's like. Seriously? It's a lot of Estus shards. Right, so at this point, I just want to know where that tower is. So I don't really remember. I don't think it's up this way. I do need to go there, but that's not where I want to go first. I want to go to that tower first, and I can't remember if I have to go to... Oh! oh okay, I think I remember now. I have to go around the left side, not the right side. The right side gets me to some later areas... Gets me some sorceries, actually. Some really good sorceries. Mostly, like, camouflage -y stuff. But still, there's another thing. It's a shield. Again, not a shield build. Although, I have occasionally in my past wanted to do a kind of double shield build. Where it's, like, nothing but shields. Because that's kind of how I approach things. It's like, you know, it's either it is or it isn't. No in-betweens. But I've decided against it. Like, I don't think it'd be fun. And that was more of a thing I was jokingly thinking about when I was playing Dark Souls 2 for the first time. Because that game was like, oh, I have to use shields for everything, huh? Well, I guess I'll just use shields for everything then, because, well, ow! Oh, great, you're going to be a pain in the butt, aren't you? Can I kick you out of that? No, and you're going to be also a pain anyway. Ah, uh, maybe I should go into parry mode. Or maybe I could just... No, you're not going to be that easy. Yeah! Uh, uh, yes! Somehow dodge the life drain attack. Completely by coincidence, but it worked. Aha! And I got Estus back. Nice. This development has turned out well. So I'm not sure where the tower is, but hey, Estus. Estus is always good. And more coal. Oh, I think that's the coal I wanted. I think that's simple coal. I think Sage's coal gives me simple infusions. Does it? Does it? It doesn't. Crystal, Blessed, and Deep Infusions. Not bad infusions, not the infusions I was looking for. I think the infusions I want I won't be able to get until the area following this one. Also, I missed something. Again, this is not what I was looking for. Because this is going to take me around to where I went last time, isn't it? Or maybe not. Well, let's keep going. I, I'm not sure if there is the tower I'm looking for is over here. I'm pretty sure I'm getting into Basilisk territory. And I would be possibly wrong, in fact. I'm really not sure. 
basically this area has the slugs. It has these things here, which are something I do not want to fight if I can help it. Because that jump attack is deadly, and they're just a pain in the butt to deal with. I'm not a fan of these enemies. And somehow they float as well, which is weird. Or they appear to, at least. They're called Grooze. They eat you when you're in the dark. Okay, where is that tower? I was pretty sure that the entrance to that tower was down here. I was also pretty sure it was closer to the opening area. This is getting really confusing. Now there's another Gru. I don't want to go there. I risk being eaten by them. Hmm. Well, okay, let's go up one of these staircases. They might actually be the way to go. Or at the very least, give me a better vantage point to see. Oh, hey, there's the tower, or something like that. Which, I don't know where it is. That's always a thing that kind of bugs me sometimes. You're going replaying a game, and you kind of know that a thing exists, but you don't know exactly where. Okay. I've got a better idea. And there's another Gru. We'll deal with later. Not really in the mood. You're not my target. And I'm not poisoned. Hooray! For now! Not so hooray! Oh wait, it's over here, isn't it? It's like, up this... Or is it up this staircase? I mean, this is along the way, for sure. Or at the very least, looks like it's along the way. Seems to be in the right general direction. It's just a matter of not getting killed by things. But that one's not going to jump in my head, so I'm happy. It's the ones that risk jumping on my head that I have nothing that I want nothing to do with. All right, we'll very least get rid of the fire. I need to get rid of all three of these fires. It's just how it works. You get rid of all three, it opens up a door later on, and then you get to further areas in the area. But this is also the one closest to that bridge, so it seems reasonable to take that one first. Of course, it'll be egg in my face, but that's not the way to go. To get to the bridge area. Woo! That's fire one. And there's two more! I guess the idea is you go up there and you see that there's something and you interact with it and you see all these fires and you go, there must be two more of these things. But I don't expect to be, to be getting to that this episode. Next episode, yes. This episode, most likely no. Just for time. All right, let's see. So I have not found the area I'm going for. In fact, this is the ending area. Like, that one I just did is a really good choice for the last one you do. Because you walk straight from there to the place that you end up fighting the... or finding the gate. Which leads me to believe that I've really gone off track because there's two of those guys there. Where the heck did I go? I mean, this is... This is bizarre. Okay, well, considering the circumstances, and the fact that the enemies that I'd be fighting aren't that big of a deal to fight, just go through them. There's a bonfire following. That might be the source of my confusion, in fact, now that I think about it. I might just be confused because I might be considering that the bonfire should be there. Oh, come on, you. Okay, are you gonna, you gonna come for me? You gonna come? Ow, oh, seriously? There we go. To the head. And no poison for you. Aha! Alright, so that's one. I can't remember if I can... Do I even have to kill these two? Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do! Okay, that's kind of scary. Ah, darn it. I really would rather you didn't do that. Seriously? Oh, right, your stupid shields. And I can't kick? What? Ow. Okay, well, anyway, your rotten, gr your rotten spear there, which is what it is. Rotten Gru spear. It's no longer relevant as you are dead. And you have donated to me a Titanite shard, and this is where I want to purple moss because I'm pretty sure this is a much stronger poison than what I was facing before. I think the way it works is actually that the swamp is... Okay, what? 
How, how am I supposed to do this? Can I not parry spears? Like, what? Oh, that's a shield bash. I don't think I can parry those. Like I said before, I'm really not sure what the rules on parries are. It's just kind of confusing. I just need to... There we go. Get the kick. Get the stab. Get my FP back. It'd be nice if I got my HP back as well, but that's fine because there's a bonfire right there. Literally right there. Fire. And not quite explorer yet. I want to get around, but I think this is... Yeah, I think this is why I got confused because I'm pretty sure this bonfire is really close to that tower. In fact, I believe the tower is over there. Okay. Now I understand what's going on here. Now I get why I was confused. Now I can get myself back up. So, through here, there is that tower I was talking about. There's also some Grus and some dogs and some other... Well, Gru-like dogs. Everything here is kind of a pain. There's also slugs. They're less of a pain. I don't want to do that. That's not relevant. That is relevant. Okay. This is a thing I thought was after the Dark Hand guy. And it's not. All right. Sort of one of you. I mean, I could just I could just storm the castle and not worry about it because they're probably not going to hit me for too much compared to what I'm going to heal off of hitting them. Like, you know, they try and then I just heal up a bunch of stuff back. So it all kind of works out. And another bone shard. Everything's working out for me. Okay. Now, I think the tower I'm looking for has Yeah, there it is. I think the tower I'm looking for has another bonfire next to it. It's like Baron Watchdog Bonfire, because there's a covenant there, actually. Which I may join, just for the sake of it. Because it is a more aggressive covenant, and I do want this character to have a bit more of an aggressive focus. Which is also not probably going to piss off Sierra of the Sunless Realms. Unlike, say, the Mound Makers, which I'm sure would. Anyway, is there anything else up here besides that? And I know the Ash is also here, and actually I think there's a lizard over here. Or maybe not. I, I might be getting confused between areas. Well, that's fine. Ah, no, I was right. I was exactly right. There is, in fact, a lizard. I don't know what the lizard has. What do you have on you, lizard? All right. One lizard mugged. One more Twinkling Titanite in my inventory. Ah, perfect. Dream Chase's ashes. That was... That was just memory. i actually kind of surprised I remember where that was. So, given that, we have the ashes, we have the watchdog here, or the old wolf, rather. Has to join Covenant. What happens if I do? I am now Watchdog Zafarin. What do I offer you? Ah, wolf's blood or grass, of which I have none. All right, and another bonfire, which is good. Which I need, because there's stuff up there. There be threats in them, there hills. Okay, what happens if I'm a watchdog? Do I get summoned? No one's been summoned yet for me, so I'm not sure. The bonfire said that there were people around it when I was teleporting to Farron Keep. But I have seen no evidence of that. I'm curious. I will find out. Or at least I will be able to do some damage to stuff up here. Like that giant demon thing, which I'm not even going to try to parry. I'm just going to dance around. That demon thing, in case you were wondering. Actually, how many souls do I have? Nah, it's fine. I might die. Might. Alright, well, let's see how this works. Thing is, I can sort of be a bit careless. Or at least work on reaction. Although, admittedly, I've gotten so used to the way rolls work, where reaction just isn't the way to go. I'm not even sure what to think anymore when it comes to defensive actions. Oh, that was lucky. That grab could have been death. Ow! Okay, well that's gonna suck if it hits me. Aha! Not gonna work that time. Ah! No! 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 Ow! I'm not your Barbie doll! Ah! Soul of a Stray Demon. I mean, that is the stray demon from Dark Souls 1. Assuming we're on a timeline where you never go back, or where the Dark Souls 1 version of you, or Dark Souls 1 character in this timeline, never went back to the asylum to kill the stray demon. 
The stray demon just sort of sat there, accruing moss. That gives me soul of a stray demon and also soul of the deacons of the deep, which is nice. I can't remember what I get from this. Oh, I'm really a gatekeeper of Lothric. Okay. I guess the, that stray demon must have had a really long life and career. Must have done many things. Since apparently it's credited with having done more than I'm aware of. Anyway, I'm... I just want to see what's going on with these souls. I need to check what's going on with these souls. There's a bit more to explore up there. But through the magic of editing, it won't be apparent to anyone but me. Oh, and we meet again. We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Anri of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldridge's coffin was empty. The man-eater must have left for his true home. Mm -hmm. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Uh -huh. Aldridge is said to hail from Irithil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes our destination. Okay. Honest home, a cool. Well, good to know that you know where you're going. I'm going the same way. I'll meet you there. Uh, There's a ring you're going to give me. So, what do we have? We have Boulder Heave Pyromancy, which was what they were doing spitting at me. Deep Soul, which I don't recall being a great sorcery. I'm trying to remember how good it is, but I don't... I mean, it's homing... Which I guess is something. And then there's the candlestick, which doesn't do a whole lot of good. I think that might cast stuff. Crystal Sage's Rapier, I already saw that. Demon's Great Axe is the other soul of a demon thing. Ah, Havel's Ring! There we go! That's what I was looking for. That's what I wanted the soul of the stray demon for. Because the rest of the stuff is just any demon, of which there are a couple. But soul of the stray demon was Havel's Ring and this Pyromancy. And Deacons of the Deep was this candlestick, which is a stray sword I wouldn't use. Deep Soul. You know what? Why not? It might actually be handy. No, no. I kind of doubt it, but who knows? All right, now that I'm in a better position, let's continue. Also, you may notice the staff has changed, because apparently the heretic staff is a much better spell buff than the sorcerer's staff right now. If not ever, I'm actually not sure how that works. But it does have a higher spell buff, so it got upgraded and it got it's getting used. All right, I think that's just the path. Ow. Hmm. So first off, I want to test out this deep soul spell. I haven't used it much. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, I remember this bit. Oh, I've got to be careful here, actually. I mean, I've got to just go for this one for sure. I can't remember what these are, but something. Ah! No! Get back here! Ha! Ha! Yes! Large Titanite Shard! Ooh, nice! Oh no, no, don't, don't, don't leave me, don't leave me! Aha! Another large Titanite Shard, perfect, one more and I can upgrade the daggers again! This is the nice thing about this area, there's a lot of Titanite Shards. I feel like Farron Keep, like, you really get a power boost after going through Farron Keep. Like, really seriously get a power boost, it's actually kind of disgusting. Although this one, oh good, you don't run towards the screaming dude. Ah, ah, get. Yeah. Oh, sorry, nothing personal, but I needed to kill the thing. Okay, so if I use Deep Soul, what happens? Some damage is dealt. I don't have the other one to compare it to, mind you. Aha! Actually, given the circumstances, I may just want to search for the parrying dagger. Are you a thing? You aren't even attackable. Well, that sucks for you. I don't think there's any way I can open this either. But, quite frankly, I don't care. Because the more important thing right now is to get the dude that's going to ring the bell and make everyone wake up. Ha! No, you don't! No, you don't make my life miserable. And you don't either. Ah. Not what I wanted. But... Yeah. Kick! Kick! Yes! A kick! A stab! FP back! That I actually didn't really use much of. Maybe I should use more of it. And a thief. What? How did you hit me? Oh, because I'm... Ah, right, I thought I was two-handing. Oops. 
One downside of using the parrying dagger is that I can't always tell that I'm not actually... Ow. Ah, come on. Kick, stab, make me wish I had the Ultra's Ruby so I could have gotten a bunch of health back from that. But hey, at least it's something. And then just cut you up. Get some more HP back. I don't recall there being anything up here. Worth a double check. But my recollection is correct. Ah, oops. Well, so much for that. At any rate, I got all the Titanite Lizards, and I seem to have killed all the enemies, except for the ones that are at the very top. That's good. That is a good sign. We are get making progress. Or at least progressing through slightly optional areas. And that's good, too. Now, I'm kind of surprised that nothing has called me to be a, Farin, a watchdog of Farron. Sometimes I'm wondering, am I underleveled or overleveled or what? I mean, I know there are people there. It, it said. It showed the icon of people there. But it looks like that's not going to be a major deal. All right. Well, this top area has been taken care of. And that's also about the time for the episode. So it seems like a pretty good place to call it. Not a whole lot of souls left. Did manage to get a whole lot of extra gear, extra Estus charges. A lot of extra everything. Two coals, two or three Estus shards, at least one undead bone shard, ashes, and quite a few upgrades thanks to Titanite shards. So a lot of progress was made here. I'm really happy about that. Anyway, for the time being, that is going to be it. So thanks for watching, and until next time, enjoy stuff.